Hey man, you know what, man? I just want to say I appreciate you, man. You always look out for me, man. I share my heart with you, man, and you don't never hold nothing against me, man. I just want to say thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. I don't have a lot of homies out here, man, that look out for me, man. But you always look out for me, man. You always look out for me, man. I appreciate you, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, look at me while I'm talking to you, man. Hey, man. Look at me while I'm talking to you. I appreciate you, man. You my dog, bro. Holler at me, man. Holler at me. Hey! You just gonna ignore me? Just like a dog, I tell you. Hey, yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this video. Welcome to the new episode of the DJ Chronicles. I am DJ Jimmy Hustle, and it is 8 o'clock in the morning for me. Um, today is going to be a very long day, but a very happy and interesting and exciting day because I am doing a 48-hour filming project for my homeboy Adam Madrid and his wife Monique Madrid. Um, it's going to be a very good night tonight downtown at the Hemming Plaza in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, but before we do that, I had to get up early this morning and load up this van. And also, I have to take this guy to the kennel because, like I said, it's going to be a very long night tonight. And I have two events tomorrow for Saturday for this weekend. And they are back to back, so I'm not going to be home at all. So when I have weekends like that, I like to take my dog to the kennel because I do not like leaving him in the cage just sitting there all day long he already does that during the week so it's only right to just let him get out a little bit and uh, you know release some of that built up energy that he has so uh, I'm going to take him to the kennel this weekend so he can have some fun with some other dogs and just hang out so that's what I'm doing right now and hopefully I'll be able to get to work in time because I did not calculate this stop and go traffic right here this is ridiculous but um other than that man that's what i'm doing right now i'm going to work after i drop my dog off and then i leave straight out to work and going downtown to do this 48 hour filming project um like i said it's gonna be a very good night tonight and i'm very excited but uh we got a lot to do beforehand so i just want to let y'all know that and next time y'all see me i will be downtown all right, man, I just got off of work and now I've made it downtown at the Hemming Plaza to uh, get ready for everything. So now I'm about to get out and check out everything and see what we're working with today. Let's go.
All right, y'all, I'm here with the man of the hour, Mr. Adam Madrid himself. He is the host and the... You're not front, are you? No, no, no. Okay, so but he is the host uh -huh. of the 48 Hour Project. So, uh, Adam, tell me a little bit about this project. Uh, man, well, it's the 48 Hour Film Project. Uh, like I said, me and Monique are, are running this thing here. There's a new era. Um, like I said, it's uh, basically... Uh, teams got to sign up and they got 48 hours to make a movie so they don't know what they're filming till they get here wow. so tonight they're gonna get a genre that's from the spin of the wheel they're gonna get elements given to them and then after that uh, like so we tell them all right you got 48 hours to come back with the movie here Sunday at 7.30. Wow. So they got 48 hours, they don't know what they're filming, wow. and they only got 48 hours to complete it and give it right back to you. Correct. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, that's, that's great. So, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, we can't thank uh, everyone enough for coming out. Uh, it's going to be an amazing event. Thank you, man, for coming out and providing music. I really appreciate it. No problem, yes, bro. Absolutely. No problem. Absolutely. No problem. Absolutely. No problem. All, right. all right, man. Well, this is a very busy man today, so I'm going to let him go. We're going to get back into it, all right? All right, man. Thank you, right. man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, bro. All right, let's do this. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll have literally that following week, that Wednesday the 29th, will be uh, the best of. So you'll have your movies shown there, uh, the, you know, top 10 films. Um, and then, you know, again, we're going to have the nominations announced on Saturday. So on Saturday, we'll have the nominations announced. So literally, next Saturday, you're going to have your nominations, and then the rooftop is where the awards ceremony is going to be at. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah, the rooftop of, you know, uh, Mosh. Okay. So yeah, so so it's gonna be there. We'll have a host. Um, oh, you want it? Okay. <laughs> so, so our host is Hattie. Uh, she's the TV host from First Coast Living. Um, so she's gonna be our host uh, that Saturday. So we're really excited for her to be there. Uh, um, uh, also, we got to give it up for uh, Kester Creative. Um, they believed in us. You know, like I said, for since we started the Elbow Jacks Film Festival, and uh, they said they were on board with the 48. So we appreciate them. Uh, PRI Productions, so they are the ones that created these shirts for us uh, to have, so we can't thank PRI Productions enough for that, so we appreciate PRI, everyone there, Randy Goodwin, thank you guys. Um, also, we got uh, Sweet Pete's, uh, right up, well, for now, I mean, you know, but Sweet Pete's, yeah, I, I just found that out too, so I don't know, but <laughs> Sweet Pete's, so yeah, they, were, they had our, asked for a, a meet and greet there, so we appreciate them a lot, and then um, George, our Vicanist Photography, if you notice, all these shots that we've been posting on 48, you've been seeing the city skyline. That's him that took these pictures. He does stuff for the Jaguars as well. And amazing photographer. Follow him. You know, he's amazing. Um, uh, Douglas Anderson. Um, like I said, you know, like I said, Douglas Anderson's been a big help. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, everyone that's been a part of it. We appreciate you guys. Um, and then give it up to DJ Jimmy Hustle back here, ladies and gentlemen. That's my DJ right there. <laughs> so... So I give it up to him. He's, he's been providing the music here. So again, sh in a little bit. Um, oh, Brooks is here. Awesome, awesome. So, hey, Brooks. Uh, the, yeah. So, all right. So shortly here, we are going to be announcing uh, uh, 6:21 right now. So we're going to be starting to set it up here. We're going to do the unveiling of the spinning wheel. So for everyone, and then um, the rules are like you said. Uh, you spin it. You land on it. There's three pieces of paper A, B, and C. Obviously, whatever group you're in. That's your group. That's your that's your genre. Um, if Can it's we buy no, no, no respins. So, but the only way it gets respun if uh, if it lands on one that's already been taken, then you gotta do it again. If it lands on it again, then you just take the following right, the, the, the next one on the right. So that's how that's gonna work on that. Um, other than that, uh, okay. um, just so you know, audience choice um, for your A, B, and C screening. The goal is you'll know that night who won. You'll get rewarded at the best of, but you'll know that night who actually won the best of. That's the goal. And, uh, and again, also, Kessa Creative created the trophies that are going to be given out on the, the, the night. And so they're really, really cool trophies. Um, and then uh, also, like I said, we partnered up with Rendezvous Film Festival and um, Southeast Regional Film Festival. So what they're doing right now is uh, Rendezvous, they're going to have the, the films that win, Audience Choice, and the best film will end up uh, being screened there at Amelia Island that's in, uh, takes place in September. Uh, right. and, and it's free, yeah, free for them. And then um, also with Jacksonville Film, uh, sorry, Southeast Regional Film Festival, um, the night you guys turn in the films, they're gonna ask if you wanna submit in for their thing, it'll be a first come, first serve, so whoever wants to submit in to them and then they can get the screeners and see if they can screen you guys that following Saturday, or that Saturday, June 1st, when they have that happen. But 
All right, uh, we're gonna start getting the spinning wheel ready to go here, and then we're gonna start announcing the groups and go from there. So we'll get this thing going, and uh, about 6.50, 6.55, we'll announce the elements. So, all right, thank you guys again for coming out. We appreciate y'all. Hey, yo, we taking a little break right now, but um, they're giving out the films, and uh, I'm about to get my eat on. They got a taco okay, here we go. We right got here. dark comedy so and or sports film. They got something called the Duval. So dark comedy so I'm about to see what it's talking about. Let's film. see. There you go. All right, uh, well, let me get Monique the mic here, just say a few words, so. I literally said I didn't want to say anything. All right, thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate you, as always. Let us know how we can make it better, or what you like, what you didn't like. Um, good luck, and um, really quickly, um, since you have me on here, we're gonna spin the wheel this year instead of draw off the hat. And when you spin the wheel, you just let me know what letter you're in, and we'll pull that off, and it'll make sense. It's a piece of paper that has two genres on it. You can do either or, or both. And you don't have to decide now. It just has to be obvious to the judges when you turn it in that it's either or, or both. Other than that, thank you guys. All right, that is a wrap. Um, I want to say thank you to Adam and Monique Madrid for having me. Um, be their DJ for this event. I had a very good time. Um, the guests had a very good time. I heard that um, there was a lot of compliments going around about the music. So I just want to say thank you guys for having me. Also, thank you to the taco truck that hooked me up. I appreciate that. I'm about to tear it up as soon as I get in this house. Um, I was going to do the outro out there at Hemming Park, but um, a fight was about to break out. So we had to get up out of there. We ain't trying to be a part of nobody fight. Um, it was a police out there and he wasn't even trying to be a part of that fight. He was like, y'all need to stop that junk and keep on moving. But uh, yeah, so a fight was about to break out. So we broke out before the fight broke out. Believe that. Um, so, hey man, like I say, it was a very good event. Um, you know, sunny skies. The wind was blowing a little bit, but that was all right. Um, like I said, I had a good time doing it. They had their projects and they left. They, they went to work. So um, we didn't have to stay out there the whole time. So it was just a real quick event. Um, other than that, man, everything went well. And um, I'm about to go in there and get something to eat and go to bed because I have two gigs tomorrow. And one is in the morning and one is in the late evening afternoon. So um, I got to get some rest, man. Other than that, man, I'm going to see y'all in the next episode of the DJ Chronicles. This is your boy, DJ Jimmy Hustle.